You can see it on Google. What should you ask? The Brzezinski warning, we've gone through it. The nuclear sneak attack on Iran. The need to junk the Kane Hamilton report, lots of reasons. To, just we've heard last night. They didn't take Rodriguez's testimony into account, junk the whole thing. Yeah. Reopen 9-11, or whatever you like best. Now it's been done. This is a guy called Siddharth. And this is called the Makaka moment. And I'm amazed how many people didn't follow this. This is a guy, he's working for Webb, he shows up at a campaign event of Senator George Allen of Virginia, who at that point was headed for re-election and possibly the presidency. He would have been Bush Redivivus, right, another, another Bush. So there he is, Siddharth. And he creates a macaca moment. Now, he did this just by showing up. He just shows up and starts filming. And Alan starts saying, ah, macaca, 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 macaca. Alan literally destroyed himself in that moment. And because the guy was filming it, up it went on Google and YouTube and the rest. The macaca moment, yeah, there it is. The macaca moment determined the fate of the U.S. Senate because the last race to be decided was the Webb Allen, and Allen went down because of macaca. You can change. Macaca is a racial slur. Macaca is a violent racial slur in the French of Tunisia, which is where Alan's mother comes from. Okay, so it's like he's he's doing a you know, tremendous ethnic uh, insult. What does it take? Two questioners, one cameraman. You confront the candidates on the issues, you tape the result, and you put it up. 9-11 blogger will be happy to take it. YouTube, DC 9-11 Truth. We have one called 911truthsquads.com. 911truthsquads.com. So it all comes down to you. You make the news, you are the news, and you are the media. We've confronted Dodd, Richardson, Jesse Jackson. We need to hit, obviously, Hillary. <laughs> Hitlery. <laughs> I have 15 minutes more. The lunch is getting cooked. The hotel's going to take a while. I'm so sorry. We didn't have to lunch. All right, fine. Okay. All right, let me try to just try to make a point. Prioritize. Fine. Now we, we, we're promised that we can we can break for lunch and then I can <laughs> resume for a while. All right, fine. I, I suppose it's reasonable, I don't know. Um, you want you want to get Hillary, Hitlery. You want to get Obama. McCain is always on the verge of a nervous breakdown. If you question him, and then of course we have Giuliani, as he's known. The Giuliani is now the Republican frontrunner. So aim for these. Any of them are fine targets. I would say that uh, Kucinich, Ron Paul, and Gravel deserve a little bit more gentle treatment in sort of prodding or encouraging or something like this because I think all three of them are close to, uh, to moving into something more active. The possibilities, therefore, to make it a fad on campuses, it could be the in thing to do on campus. It could be a mania in society. You've got to remember that we have a population that is filled with hatred and resentment against the bankrupt ruling class. And it's only looking for a lightning rod to express this resentment, this hatred, and therefore in the context of the party realignment. Remember, Lyndon B. Johnson was at a point where he could not go and give a speech without being heckled and people intervening. He had to go to military bases. And of course, the peace movement, just by asking Hillary Clinton a bunch of questions, they simply asked her, why don't you repudiate your vote on Iraq? And she wouldn't do it. A flurry of op-eds in the Washington Post, and then she has to change her demagogy and say, I want to be out in 90 days, 90 days. So it does have an effect. Now maybe we want to get, we can re resume after, yes, yes. we can certainly resume if that's the yeah, commitment. Yeah, that's I mean, good. after 2,000 miles. We'll resume right here with the question of my house. Let's give a hand for her. She's not finished, but your food is getting cold. You guys paid for the food. We just The hotel literally told me three minutes ago, you have 10 minutes, I'm going to take the food off for the health reasons. That's the only reason. It's not disrespect to Webster. It's his own lunch, too. You better go get it, Webster. Okay, go right now. Uh, we're going to make a short lunch. We have to. Go come back an hour. An hour from now, we're going to be back in our seats because if you want... An hour from now, it's at 2.15.